real quick. Movies, Donald. I think you mentioned something about um, Judas, said, Judas and the Messiah, huh? Judas and the mm. Black Messiah. Did y'all check it out. Mm. Crew, did yes. You see it? I got a, I got an issue with that movie, man. You know, cause I don't like black movies when uh, they got us turning on each other. You know, for whatever reason. Yeah. I don't care if yes. the FBI got you. I don't care if the police got you. It just I don't like those, man. It just it just upsets me. I'm like, man, cause we. We can never come together and not bring each other down, you know. I'm like, man. So I got to. I'm probably gonna look at it eventually, but I'm not. I'm not Listen, in a hurry to look at nobody being a Judas. I'm just. I'm just saying, personally. I mean, two thousand years ago, Judas sat down with Jesus. He broke bread. So that's a part of life. So yeah. if and you know the the reason why we have these types of movies and the reason why we have the ability for our people to infiltrate and turn on one another is for that. Almighty dollar. Yeah. So again, the root of all evil is money. In addition, in addition, Donald, um, just yes, the, the fear, the fear of you know one one protecting themselves, right? Because this he was getting, he was they were telling him you're gonna get five years. They just threw the money, yeah, yeah. Bonus on and him. he was a and he was a punk ass. So yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, he definitely yeah. was. Yeah, exactly. but but the reality of that situation is that that happens. More often than not, it's about self preservation. Of course, that's so exactly right. At the end of the day, you know, he's got to be accountable for that, right? Because they killed that man. So he's, he's got to be accountable for that. So, like, gotta, they, and wait, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, listen, you either answer in this lifetime or you answer. What, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Mm -hmm. So he might be living large. He was coming in clean, driving the caddy and all the fry gear. But, mm, mm, mm. but it also repent. showed at the end, at the end after it aired in 1990, that he couldn't live with himself. The guy ended up committing suicide. So why do you think? Um, why, do you, why do you think he committed suicide? Because he couldn't live with that. After after it aired, it, when you see the uh, the headlines when it goes off and it says it aired on PBS in 1990, after it aired, shortly after it aired that following evening or the following day. Once his peers saw it, and once his family saw it, and people that knew him, probably couldn't live with himself, man. I mean, he's been living with that since the '60s, and now like every year, for, for 21 years. Yeah. So, 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 Doc, why do you think he killed himself? Af afraid. Afraid. I mean, uh, afraid of what? Yeah, just scared because, or he was going to get killed. You think he killed himself because he's going to get killed, right? Yeah. What do you think, Donald? Why do you uh, think he killed himself? Quite it's quite it's obvious for, for me it's obvious because he's a coward i and think see he, when you oh wait, when wait you, have so regret, you clarify on it? When it yeah when you have regret and remorse and you do not think there's a way to to be rehabilitated the people who turned on malcolm x they know who they are and the, fact that, they gotta, the fact the fact that they got to live with themselves for that nonsense the right. same people who every every one of the our leaders regardless of how you felt about them and the, your political or whatever, they, they were assassinated, right? Yep. And so that this was just a legal assassination that was- With help from the government. Somebody that oh. was direct, that was directly tied to him, right? Mm -hmm. So, but more importantly, I, was, I did not know about the uh, Confederates mm, that was, that was that, that he went into a Klan rally, basically, Right. And got them all on board. That Let, let's talk about that. that. Be let's talk about that. That's interesting. I want to talk about that. Too. <laughs> I, want, I want to comment on the piece of him killing himself. Um, so here's here's just kind of my 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 summation of this. I think that he part of him wanted to be a part of the movement. Part of him wanted to do self preservation, right, from the FBI. Um, in the end, if you saw, you know, as you saw to the end, and you saw the real him talk, he saw he felt justified. He literally said, "I feel, you know, the, when you see this, you're going to notice that what I did was justifiable, right? Like I was a part of the movement. But when the actual movie came out, I agree with Doc. I think he saw the other perspective of how he was really a backstabber and yeah. he was afraid that people were going to come and get him. And he just committed suicide, right? Part of it may be the fact he couldn't live with himself, but I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. I don't think it, it is about him not being able to live with himself. I think he was in fear of someone coming to kill him. And after he saw that, the way it was portrayed, uh, uh, I can think- I, Can I add yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Know something to that? Yeah, yeah. I don't, uh, yeah. Um, the only reason why I say it the way I say it, right? Mm -hmm. 
I was having a conversation with uh, a, a right wing that I we even shared about 1500 emails in the last three days on various subjects. And I talked to him about white privilege. And he told me a story of how he had a certain type of haircut and he got pulled over by the cops and he didn't get a ticket because the cop thought he was a police officer because the way his hair was cut. And I said, bro, that's just white privilege. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't get, and I, I kept pushing the envelope to see if he would admit to me, he won't admit it. But I told him, and this is what I'm gonna say about my man. Right. Deep down inside, mm -hmm. they know white privilege exists. My man that was talking during that interview, deep down inside, he knew what he'd done. Oh, yeah. So it, to me, he wasn't worrying about, I mean, death is death, right? So he wasn't worrying about nobody killing him. He killed himself, in my opinion, because again, I say he was a coward. And the guilt of how they killed this man, and they basically drugged him, that was guilt, bro. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm sure there was. It, it falls in the same line. It falls in the same line. If you actually think about the whole movie, what did Judas do, right? Exactly. What did Judas do after he took the coins, right? Yeah, well, you know what he did, but yeah, yeah, yeah. he couldn't live you know with why, though, because of guilt. Yeah, the yeah. guilt. Yeah. yeah, it was the guilt. And trust me, if he didn't get, if he was scared of the government, if any time he had a reason to be scared of government, it should have been the '60s when. Hoover still had a little bit of power. I don't, I'm You're not, not saying, going to live saying, all the way to the 90s. I'm not saying 90. he killed himself because he was afraid of the government. I don't think Doc and I, I think he was afraid of everybody else after they saw what he did. Right? No. Like when they came out, he, 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 he was, came out, he was, he was oh, I, I think he was clearly afraid of others killing him within his community. Right? Because everybody, yeah. to Frank's point, you know, Fred Hampton pulled a lot of people together, right? Donald yeah, Trump, and he went in. I didn't know that either. I mean, he walked yeah, in. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle in, into the middle yes. of this, this this little rally and yes. um man, i thought that was cool right like him pulling people together he was about they were their original rainbow coalition they had this he had the spanish coalition. the white and the blacks all under one umbrella but the enemy of my enemy is my friend yeah it's, it's just you know i didn't like, know he had more had that much power though. i didn't know he when, had I, that when i power. when i told this guy this right wing guy to, to watch that movie Right. I actually told him, I said, watch the movie and then we can have a conversation. I told him to watch American Skin, then we can have a conversation because you don't know what it's like to be in my skin unless, in fact, you can actually watch those movies because yeah. those movies give you a glimpse of what it's like to be black or what it People was. People don't like know about the, the good that the Black Panther, that whole party did, that, that nationwide and, uh, and the programs they had, man. People have no idea. They only know a glimpse of it. They only know the radical right. portion of it. You know, one common theme of the, you know, what one common theme of all the movies we've watched, gentlemen? Mm -hmm. Government, the government, Hoover. Government. Mm -hmm. Like he was, he, he was a very, very bad, bad, bad person. Right? And they got a building, they got a the federal building named after him too. Yeah. But you know, you, How about, know, you don't see it until it's brought to light. What were you gonna say, Donald? I was gonna say when he was talking to the FBI agent about the baby, you want her bringing somebody home like him? This is 1969. Yeah, yeah, I'm worried yeah. about now. He's thinking out now. He's thinking to himself, 1980. You know, he's going 15 years from now. Like you have to, uh, you know, put this to an end now so that you're. That's how they think. Mm -hmm. How do you change the ideology of a person who thinks that way? My brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers. Video podcast. Yes.